Okay, good morning again, everyone. This is Nick Petro at the National Weather Service in Raleigh with your Monday morning weekly impact weather briefing. And uh, this briefing covers a period today through the 25th of uh, March, uh, basically through next Sunday. So uh, jumping right into uh, the webinar or uh, the, the weather pattern, I should say. Uh, so right now, um, you know, if you look, when looking out the window, it looks pretty gray and cloudy and, and just uh, not too nice. And, and that's thanks to this uh, storm system that's uh, developing, deepening to our west. Um, we've got a warm front that's approaching. And uh, certainly um, this is setting the stage for a wet weather pattern, um, basically that'll last today through Tuesday. Now, it hasn't started raining across much of the, the area right now, but it will uh, as we head into uh, later today, tonight, and, and lingering uh, off and on rain right through, uh, through Tuesday. So uh, the biggest concern really with uh, today and tomorrow, or to, to today and later today, I should say, um, for folks to our south and west, um, there is going to be a risk for some severe thunderstorms. And I'll point out those areas here uh, in another minute. But for us, uh, while we could see a rumble or two of thunder right now, we're not expecting it to be uh, severe thunderstorms across central North Carolina, thanks to some drier, uh, less, less stable air that's... Uh, uh, or, or more stable, I should say, <laughs> actually, more stable air, I should say, that's, uh, that's over our area uh, right now. So anyway, um, look for some rain, basically. And then as the storm system uh, sort of wraps up and lifts to our northeast, uh, we'll have cold air coming in and behind it, and the storm may exit on Wednesday with a brief changeover to snow. Particularly north of I-85, as you get, get up uh, closer to the Virginia border, and obviously uh, north of, uh, of the state, uh, clearly it'll be cold enough for, uh, for snow. Um, but anyway, I'll touch more on, on what we expect with that. That'll be for early Wednesday. And then for the latter portion of the week, as normally happens, as these storm systems exit, we get high pressure in its wake. Uh, the high pressure is originating from Canada, bringing colder air mass. And yet again, we'll have another period, another couple nights of freezing or sub-freezing temperatures so uh, for folks uh, in the agriculture industry or, or if you're just doing some home gardening and putting things out, again, it's uh, another couple nights of, of freezing or sub-freezing temperatures. So be careful, uh, be prepared for that. And then this weekend, uh, we'll have the next cold front approaching. And uh, right now, all indications are it'll warm up, obviously, ahead of that front. As, as it always warms up ahead of fronts. And uh, we are expecting that uh, to bring a chance for rain. And I underline the word rain uh, to uh, highlight w what we expect in terms of the precipitation type. So um, so anyway, uh, that'll bring the next chance for rain over the weekend. All right. So what about this severe thunderstorm potential that I mentioned? And these graphics are courtesy of the uh, Storm Prediction Center. Um, and you can see uh, North, most of North Carolina is in the light green, which means thunderstorms are possible, but severe thunderstorms usually are expected with the uh, with the darker green and on up the color scale. And you'll see there just west and southwest of Asheville is where we uh, think that the, the, the risk for severe storms will begin. Uh, basically, the bottom line is the south and west of central North Carolina is where the uh, risk for severe thunderstorms will be later today and on Tuesday. Uh, so, uh, but again, uh, with that air shading of light green over us, basically what that's implying is don't be surprised if you hear some thunder here and there. Um, but right now, we're not expecting severe storms over, over central North Carolina. All right, so then as the storm exits, colder air um, will, uh, will, will move in, and it's possible that the rain may mix with or change the snow on Wednesday morning. And this graphic here on the left side of the screen shows the probability and percentage of receiving one inch of snow accumulation. So this is the probability of one inch snow. So as usual, locations, and then let me get my pointer here. So locations along and uh, north of I-85, running kind of along this corridor right here, along and north of there, so we're talking up, up closer to the Virginia border, have the best chance to see some light, wet snow accumulations Wednesday morning. And, uh, you know, we're looking at the, this this light, or, or I'm sorry, this darker green, that's about a 30 to 40% chance uh, of an inch uh, of accumulation. Um, and, and certainly, you know, that risk for some very light, um, you know, uh, I wouldn't even say even an inch, but as further you go south, the less chance there is to see snow and, and, and accumulation at that. So again, the best chance for any type of accumulating snow would be uh, north of um, 
of uh, the I-85 corridor. Um, let me show you the next uh, the next screen here. Bear with me here for just a second. Um, this shows our expected snowfall amounts, and uh, essentially this is the lowest shading, the lowest category on our scale over here. So, if you know, perhaps while you might think, okay, could there be up to an inch, you know, south to Highway 64? That's that's less likely. Uh, but basically, what we're saying is here there could be, you know, a few snow flakes of snow uh, in the air, uh, perhaps. Um, as far south as the Highway 64 corridor, but the best chance for any kind of, kind of accumulations, where again, even 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 north of 85, where the best chance to see that snow is, uh, even there we're expecting uh, less than an inch of any type of accumulation, maybe a half inch, um, you know, on grassy areas. And as I always pointed out, that, you know, this reminds me of a little bit in terms of the of of you know what we can 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 expect in terms of the type of snow. Remember that last snow event last week, how wet it was, and, and it had a hard time accumulating on roadways uh, unless it came down really hard. Um, that's sort of the situation here, and, and that's not unusual for March. In March, you need to have, in, in order to get any type of accumulation, it's very uh, dependent on heavy snow rates. So, um, you know, when it comes down and it's coming down lightly, then it just melts. But if it comes down hard, then that's the better chance to get any kind of accumulation. And even at that, it would be mostly on grassy areas. Um, so um, in elevated surfaces. So um, so anyway, that, that that's the uh, how much and the where. Again, not unusual for this time of year. Locations along and north of I-85 having the best chance. Could you see a few snowflakes down to the Highway 64 corridor? Sure, you could see it, but uh, right now we're not expecting it much in the way of accumulation that far south. All right. Okay, so when you add up uh, 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 precipitation amounts uh, right through the week, you know, we're looking at uh, actually, you know, some, some places could get, you know, an inch, inch and a quarter of rain today and, and Tuesday uh, when you add it up by the end of tomorrow. Um, so it could be very beneficial rains, particularly – uh, the northern half of the state, and then uh, any precipitation amounts on Wednesday would be fairly light, uh, dry Thursday and Friday, and then, as I mentioned, that next frontal system approaches over the weekend. When you add it all up uh, by the uh, by the end of the week, you know, most places will have seen a three quarters to an inch of rain uh, further north along the Virginia border, maybe an inch and a half or more of rain. So uh, definitely uh, some some beneficial rains there. All right. The good news here is that uh, the storm predict, or I'm sorry, the Climate Prediction Center um, eight to 14 day outlook, which looks at the the probabilities uh, for next week, would suggest uh, maybe we see a little bit of a warming trend um, next week. So I think most people would welcome that. All right, so that uh, pretty much takes us to the summary for this week's uh, Monday morning briefing. Basically, we're expecting some uh, wet wet weather pattern today through Tuesday. Severe thunderstorms are possible to our south and west. Um, as the storm system exits on Wednesday, there could be a brief changeover to snow, particularly north of I-85. Right now, we expect um, uh, less than uh, an inch of accumulation north of the Highway 64, but highest confidence for any accumulation is north of I-85, again, um, closer to the Virginia borders, where we have the best, highest confidence for any kind of accumulation. And, and as, again, uh, just a reminder, snow accumulation we will be rate-driven, rate-dependent, It'll be wet snow and difficult to accumulate on roads unless it comes down really hard. Um, and then look for clearing and colder for the latter half of the week. Um, and sub-freezing temperatures are possible Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday nights. Uh, I will point out, um, you know, with temperatures dipping down or below freezing um, uh, Wednesday night, I guess it's possible that some of, if the roads are still wet, um, come Wednesday night, there could be maybe some black ice issues uh, Thursday morning, but uh, we'll we'll touch on that um, as we get a little closer to the event. I will uh, obviously be updating slides. Uh, we'll be updating slides here at this office, um, uh, you know, throughout the throughout the event. So this isn't a one-time briefing for for Wednesday. There'll be more briefings uh, uh, as we head through the week. Um, uh, additional PowerPoint slide sets that we'll email out. Um, so anyway, um, so we'll we'll address any black ice potential as we get uh, closer to the event. And then finally, uh, warming up for next week, um, according to the Climate Prediction Center 8 to 14 day outlook. So anyway, there you have it. Um, uh, down at the bottom there, just a quick glance at the at the conditions. 
Um, in terms of uh, the snow potential, right now we're not planning any additional webinars. Um, if things, you know, if conditions appear to, to be worse than what, we're, uh, than what we're expecting right now, then maybe we'll reconsider additional webinars. You can at least expect additional PowerPoint briefings that will be uh, emailed out. Uh, throughout the course of, of this winter, uh, throughout the course of this weather event. So uh, stay tuned to your email is the bottom line, and um, and we'll get those uh, updates out uh, as uh, as conditions warrant. So that wraps up our Monday morning weekly briefing.